G'day and welcome to another video with Better Picks. Hope this finds you all well. Today we're going to have a look at some changes to the new version of Adobe Bridge that was recently released. Uh, it is version number 15. And one of the features that's fantastic are the quick actions that are now built into Adobe Bridge. So you can make some common and quick changes to images or video files. Some of these tools are going to be super handy if you're wanting to make quick changes or conversions for file formats or types. And uh, I'm sure that uh, many of you will be happy to see these features and uh, will incorporate it into your workflow. Now it's worth mentioning that Bridge uses Adobe Express to use these features, which means that the content needs to be uploaded as part of the workflow uh, before it can make any changes to those images or video files. So this is a consideration, particularly for videos where if you're filmed, for example, in 4K or if it's a longer video clip, it will take some time to upload and obviously uh, then re-download the altered clip. So just important to keep that in mind and uh, allow for it. Obviously if you have a rock solid internet connection you won't have too many issues at all all right so what we're looking at here is a collection of images um, you can probably notice that they're all jpegs one of the interesting things about the features is that if you're using raw images it doesn't actually work so if we just click over to a raw image folder and we select one of those images and we just click and drag up to the resize image as an example uh, you can see that you get a warning up straight away called unsupported file format. Select file format is not supported for this quick action. Please select JPEG or PNG file format to continue. So very important to uh, take note of that one. And uh, obviously keep in mind that JPEGs and PNGs are the only ones that are supported. Now there's a number of ways to use these features. And the two that I found to be the most useful is if you just simply click and drag onto uh, the tab of the change that you would like to make. Or if you right click quick actions you can see that all the options are there so there's a couple of ways to get those images into that section we're just going to click and drag onto resize image and you can see that the Adobe Express dialog box opens up and as you can see it's uploading our file uh, so that it's able to work on these images. So you can see firstly the option that we have is for the aspect ratio. So custom where we can enter in our width and our height. We can also unlock that aspect ratio uh, so that we can make it a square image or whatever we would like. You can see if we click on the aspect ratio as well, the drop down box there, it has uh, defaults for Instagram, Facebook, X, YouTube, Pinterest, LinkedIn and Snapchat. And uh, so plenty of options there to be able to take advantage we also have a quality slider that is anything between 1 and 100 percent which is a great thing so all right let's just say for example we want to make the width of this image 1500 pixels and you can see the height is automatically adjusted uh, to keep that aspect ratio the same and the compressed size the original size of the file was 2.5 megabytes compressed size will be 1.84 megabytes now if we click on download you can see that it automatically brings up a folder selection and it allows uh, us to choose exactly where this image is going to be saved so i'm just going to select that same folder file has been downloaded and you can see that we now have a second version of that file and you can see it's also been renamed and you can see over here as well that the image has in fact been resized to 1500 by 1000 pixels the original 2000 by 1333 pixels so really quick and easy process uh, obviously without having to open the image in Photoshop or in Lightroom to resize the image uh, being able to take care of as I mentioned earlier those quick and common edits that you might want to do uh, within um, Adobe Bridge is a great way to go as you know I'm a common user of Adobe Bridge it's my number one uh, option that I uh, choose to use for organizing keywording captioning uh, images and uh, I find it really really helpful this is just going to expand what we can do with an Adobe Bridge, which is definitely a good thing. All right, let's click and drag this one over to remove background. We're just going to drop it on there. Obviously, being uploaded, it would be utilizing a form of AI to identify exactly what the subject is. Removing the background, some great little messages in there as well. And there we go. The boat that's in the foreground is obviously the subject that it's detected and it has removed that background. We're not going to download that one. We're just going to 
uh, continue on our way. So if we also have a look at edit preferences, uh, there's some options in there that you might want to have a look at. If you look down towards the bottom here, you can see that there's a quick actions and it just gives us the option to look at file saving options. Now, the default is download, so it just means that it downloads to a separate folder. Uh, you can go to a specific location or you can always ask for the folder location. And as you would have seen when this dialog box opened, I had it uh, set to always ask folder location because that's generally the process that I would go through. So I'm gonna keep it on that one for now, but at least you know where to go if you want to check change the option for where the default uh, save as option is for the destination. All right, let's have a look at crop image. So we're just gonna click on this image and drop it over to crop image. And once again, that dialog box opens up. Excellent, and you can see we've got some crop drag marks just on the corners here. So we can drag it into whatever shape we want. You can see it's completely free flowing in terms of aspect ratio. And we can move that crop around once we find the shape that we're looking for. Let's go for a little bit of a panoramic sort of cropped in download. Once again, it's uh, as mentioned earlier, it is giving us the option to save it in a specific folder. And there we go. We have that image uh, in a more cropped version uh, available for viewing versus the original aspect ratio. All right, let's have a look at some video clips. I've got a couple of video clips here. Now, obviously, as I mentioned earlier, video clips are gonna be much larger in file size. Again, what we have is a number of tools that are available to us. We can resize video, we can trim the video, we can convert to a GIF and convert to an MP4. Now, this video is already an MP4, so what we're gonna do is we're going to resize this video. It was filmed in 4K, and this is a perfect example Example of where uh, if you have a larger file size as I mentioned video is always going to be then uh, it's going to take a little bit longer to upload and you'll see that it'll go through an uploading media process it's going to take a little bit of time uh, and this will obviously be dependent on your computer and your internet connection uh, so you can see it is fully uploaded now and what it's giving us is options for aspect ratio uh, for all the popular social channels. And we've also got the option for custom. Let's go with 1920 by 1080. So obviously converting or downscaling from uh, 4K or Ultra HD down to full HD. And we also have the option to scale the video as well. So you can see like a zoom option there where we can scale into a tighter crop within the video and we can click and drag uh, wherever that video is that we want it to sit and we can obviously review as well excellent all right let's download that one exporting your file so once again it gives us the option to save it in a specific location and as you can see there down the bottom of the screen it is just letting us know that the file has now downloaded. All right, so as you can see, we now have a 1080 version of this video, much smaller in size, uh, at just nine and a half uh, megabytes, uh, obviously being uh, much smaller at 1080 than it would be at the full Ultra HD. So some fantastic features within that quick actions are there. And uh, as I mentioned, will definitely be useful for many people's workflow, built into Bridge, uh, reducing the need for you to go to uh, other applications to edit your images or video files. Obviously there's restrictions, uh, a few of them that I mentioned, you know, having to upload your content online for the edits to be done is uh, a little bit of a restriction, particularly if you're working with large files or a large number of files as well as uh, the restrictions within uh, the images that you can use as well and needing to be JPEG or PNG. For many of us, we're employing a raw uh, edit workflow and that will be a uh, restriction. However, there are places and times where it'll be really handy as well if you've saved out your images as JPEGs and you want to resize them. Uh, that'll be a great way to do it. Thanks very much for stopping by. I hope you found this video helpful. As always, any questions are welcome in the comments below. And we look forward to seeing you next time. Take care.